Well, good morning everyone and welcome to Wednesday's Thought for the Day. Now, have you ever been afraid that you've gone so far away from our Lord? Rebelled so badly or for so long that it just isn't possible for God to take you back now? Or has a family member or a friend sunk so deep into a sinful lifestyle? Perhaps travelled so far from the people of God that it seems impossible to imagine how the Lord could ever reach them again. Then Jonah chapter 1 verse 17 will be music to your ears because it demonstrates that our gracious Lord can rescue his people however far away they've gone or however low they've sunk. Now the Lord provided a huge fish to swallow Jonah and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. God showed great grace to Jonah, his rebellious prophet. Instead of obeying the Lord and going to Nineveh to preach against it, Jonah headed in the opposite direction. Even when the Lord held a raging storm at Jonah's ship, the prophet didn't repent. Instead, he told the sailors to throw him overboard to his death. But in Jonah 2, we read that as Jonah was engulfed by the waters, he finally cried out to God for help. And he was saved by grace, swallowed by a huge fish. This was an unexpected but perfect saviour, demonstrating God's miraculous grace. Perhaps a rescue by a passing ship would have taken the glory away from God, but a rescue by a big fish can only be due to the big grace of God. In the same way, God provided for us an unexpected but perfect saviour in Jesus Christ. In Matthew 12, Jesus compared himself to Jonah in spending three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Jesus went to the depths of death itself to save us from our sin. That is big grace for all those who've run away from God. The gracious God who saved Jonah can rescue anyone drowning in sin. And however badly Christians rebel, our sovereign, gracious God. He's always there, always willing to reach out to them, like with Jonah. Of course, once we know God's grace for ourselves, we shouldn't keep it for ourselves. That was Jonah's problem later in the book when he was angry with God. In chapter 4, Jonah declares, I knew that you are a gracious and compassionate God. And it was because of that. That Jonah said he ran away from preaching to Nineveh, enemies of Israel. Because he didn't want them to experience the same grace that he had experienced. We should be different. Once we appreciate the grace God has shown to us in Jesus, we should be so much more willing to share God's grace with others. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace in rescuing us. Please help us to share your grace with those around us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great have a good Wednesday. See you tomorrow.